Utah is such a mountainous place. It's inevitable that we have to live in harmony with Mother Nature, whether it's drought or mountains or earthquakes. So one of the things that I like to focus on in my courses is realistically, why does geomorphology matter to the average person? Our hill slopes matter, and our hill slopes are meant to fall down with time, with gravity. So as we build on them, where are the best places to build? These are great questions. As an educator, I wanna help people figure that out and to understand what to look for to figure out if a slope is gonna stick around for a while or whether it's actually on the move. All that material that you see in front of us has come from that fence line up there. And it's come down this slope, probably transported by some water and then also gravity. And it's caused this big fan-shaped deposit here, and I'm standing right on the toe. Okay, so the fan points back up to the hill slope. You can see there's a groove carved into that material because of the water and the debris that's come down here. Once there's a landslide, it tends to keep remaining active, although it might occur as a impulses of movement. So these can kind of go quiet, but they probably aren't dormant. And so what we like to do as geoscientists is look for evidence that they're moving. This was no more than one and a half centimeters in September. And that's why I'm concerned and why I have the need to speak out. And I feel that people should know kind of all of the aspects because Utah is a place that has a lot of beauty and some places might just be more safe than others and it's up to every individual to make that choice themselves.